since I mentioned it yesterday, um, part of a new tax that helps to pay for, you know, what the media calls Obamacare. And I think the president has even sort of embraced that term, so I don't, I don't think it's a slang. And I certainly don't mean it as a slang, but most people understand when you say Obamacare what you're talking about. Um, but, you know, as it is now, they're a public hospital, they're tax exempt for the things they purchase. Well, that ta there's now a new tax on it. There will be. I don't, and again, there's, you know, I don't think the, the gavel has fully come down on how that's going to affect, but one of the changes will be a tax to pay, uh, that they'll have to pay on certain items. Um, uh, Obamacare is a primary care driven model. In other words, the, the government is going to try to keep health care costs down by making your primary care provider, your family, your family practitioner, your home, your health care home. We have less people going in the hospital. That's right. And so if we have a hospital that's built on a specialist model, spine surgeons or cardiologists, I mean, if you talk to these cardiologists in, in town, they'll tell you that Medicare Medicaid is reimbursing less for stress tests and things like that because a family practitioner can do it at a lower rate. So insurance companies and federal government want to push that down to a primary care. So the model that is being adopted in America now is a primary care model. And so that's just one issue that we need to make sure that we're involved in the hospital. If the hospital wants to look to, to the county to partner with them to, to really make sure we're recruiting primary care to the extent that we can be a partner with them, uh, I want to make sure we're a partner. Uh, little things like that. So there's a lot of changes that even, you know, I'm in health care and there are even changes that that I'm not aware of, but um, I just want to make sure that we're at the table with them, making sure that we're a partner with them through this, and they're not having to sort of bear that burden all by themselves. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. sure there's things kind of, kind of scary. What there's less I know than I do know, but I do know that the change is going to be said.
to signal back instead of the jail monitor. No, 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 See it on paper, but actually being reflected in the county's budget. That's, I guess it's my question. Well, and that's what I referred to the other day. The numbers that Steve gave you uh, were service numbers. They were cumulative numbers. And when we were dealing with the staff and I were going through staff, uh, the budget request, we were going to be able to give you all hard numbers. And so this is where that safety occurred. Now, when you say,
does not call from Poland, but you know, the, the big, big ticket. Um, that's why that ankle monitor says so it's going to go a, a pregnant, you know, a pregnant inmate, not an inmate, but a, someone that's awaiting trial because she's pregnant. I understand that side of it. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> it's a good question. We'll know more about it when we do the yeah, lessons.